motion to accept the minutes for January 16th and January 24th, non public. I'll second. I'll second for the ones for the 24th. Issue of reports. Um, yeah, we yeah, the uh, the planning board met since we since we last met, and there was a piece of business that was attended to. I don't have the lot numbers, but there was uh, the lots are up on Brock Hill Road, and it was a it was a double lot merger. There were three lots being merged into one, and uh, there was a piece of property that the town had auctioned back in O. Six or oh seven that guy bought. And anyway, it went through without any hitches. That's good because it's cheaper for them. It is cheaper for them, yeah. side really good. Um, and I brought it to the historical commission and, and they said they would be happy to have it. I thought it would be nice for the Pine Schoolhouse where they're starting to do some work on it. But it is town property, so I'm asking the selectmen if they want to give their blessing to the um, donation. Certainly. I think that's really nice. Me too. I'll make a motion that we accept the uh, donation. I'll second. Yeah. So, Steve, if I put this in the town office tomorrow morning, can you bring it over to the school? Put have it in the, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure it gets over yeah. to the school house. We have to do something with the bags. So we'll it's... take a look at that, too. Yeah. And uh, we'll a... give it a prime spot on the wall. It needs a new And thank you very much. Welcome. Um, about 15, maybe even longer. Um, I was doing some research and I have these that were Leaf's grandfather, Johnny Bassett's, and um, these are the road layouts for the town of Grafton beginning in 1793, John's research, um, 1793 to 1830. And I've offered all of this to the Historical Commission and they're glad to have it. And it's just right down to the um, Right down to the oh yeah, yeah the well, inch of how the roads were laid out in the town of Grafton, and I didn't know. And then this one here, his roads just continued between 1910 and 1981. So it's a question about a road. Yeah. Johnny Bassett has researched it and has all the documentation. The late Johnny Bassett, of course. Um, so I'm giving these to the historical commission. Um, they welcomed them, but I didn't know if this. The selectman's office should have a copy, even if it's a PDF. Or you can just go over to the historical commission if you ever need to check something. I'll leave that up to you guys. You have all these things scanned. I mean, making a PDF would be. Uh, I think it'd be very easy longer. since you can kind of take it apart very carefully. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Now, the <laughs> question is: um, Will you be able to read it? You can read it, but like the road is just continued near William Leonard's field where the jerseys are. Okay, <laughs> a lot of them Johnny. You know that is. <laughs> a lot of them Johnny has made notations, uh, but even these folks, 40, 50 years old. So, um, so anyway, I didn't know if the town wanted um, any of those records. But well, we can hold them at the of historical society, and the town will always know what they are. Okay. And then last but not least, I have from John a map full we... map of the town graph in every road, every discontinued road, where every culvert is, every bridge. <laughs> now again, the one this is, on wall. again, this is quite old, so where it says it's wooden bridge, it's wall. probably a, a, a concrete bridge now. But I think it's very valuable. It shows every culvert that's 
maintained by the town. Um, so I don't know if you wanted to make a copy of this. This is again going to the historical commission. Uh, society? Commission? Yeah, society. Society. Yeah. Uh, so I'll leave that up to you if you want to make a copy. I think I've had maps made at Staples this size, not too, uh, not Staples, no one copy. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to turn this all over to the historical commission. And if you guys want to take it apart and make copies, feel free to. Okay, well, and that, you know, John was road agently for what, like 28 years or something? Around that, 40. It was so I think that, that in here. itself is, you know, of historical importance that someone, you know, dedicated to the town for that amount of decades is leaving a, a wonderful um, record of our roads in the draft. I believe that map was the first thing he did when he became road agent. So that would have been appointed by the selectmen in 1963 when 67. Charlie Hope, your great, your great, oh, yeah. the other grandfather, yeah. <laughs> was road agent and left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is from 1805. Oh, let's look at the handwriting there. Yeah, he swiped it. Yeah, I typed it here. Sorry, See, I'm trying to get it. <laughs> Do you want to look at, do you want to, do you want to now, Steve? I will peruse them. What do you mean? What you I, have, I don't really have a chance now. I mean, do you want to bring them now and just run them to the historical commission? I could do that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Steve's on the historical uh, society, of course. Steve? Yeah, I think the coat. Those Colac bags are hard to come by these days. I can let you know. Yeah, it's going to be like a Lake Sunday Bay pen. <laughs> this is historical, too. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, great. Thank you, Sandy. You're welcome. Okay, new business. Pointing a fire for Morden. From what I understand. Every three years we have to appoint a fire warden. December was the time we were supposed to do it. We gotta call this out. Well, you could fill that out later. Yeah, right. Very active. You could just so, point wherever you want. I know uh, Rogers come to me, talk to him about if you want it. You do it. But from what I hear, they want a fire chief. Okay. So, it makes it easier if the fire chief is the fire warden as well. That he doesn't have to chase around that's after right. a signature. Like right now, that's what he's got to do, even though the, the ex fire warden, his term is expired. Yep. So, um, but you still have to chase him around. He might have a difference of opinion. I think Roger should be given the latitude to do that. So I will make a motion to, to uh, appoint Roger Prentice as the fire warden. I'll second. And third. And there are also deputies, Steve? There's usually two or three deputy wardens. Yeah, we got uh, Steve Cudlick's uh, deputy, uh, Jeff Joyce, Ken Dean, um, Ken Cushion. How do, we, do, do we want to appoint the uh, former fire warden as a deputy? I haven't talked to him either way. Because their terms haven't run out yet, have they? They don't get terms. Oh. They just have to keep up with their training and stuff. Okay. If they don't do their training, they get taken off. Mm -hmm. I think Russell's not doing his training anymore. Okay. John's going to be in my office on Thursday. Well, I have some things I'd like to bring up. Can I bring them up now? Yeah. Okay. We used to have a thing that was called the action item list as the board. I don't know when that transpired. And 
and it had its good points and bad points. Sometimes it got old and stale, but on the other side of the coin, it kept all the projects or all the uh, tasks that the board had to do. It made them come up in every meeting so that we could report back on it. So I would recommend that we instigate that list again. And if that's acceptable to the board, I have some items that we could put on there. You know, one is, one is the drainage at the historical museum. There's, and that's been a problem basically for as long as I can remember. Yep. Even before they paved the lot there, there's a, there's a stream of water that runs right down the sidewalk. And like when it's wet or snowy, like this Thanksgiving when, they, when the ladies had their pie sale there, there was like six inches of running water you had to navigate through to get there. So I'd like to take a look at what it would take to get that fixed, and I have a feeling that the highway department might be able to advise or help or do something there, but I would say that that's something that we could put there. Somebody suggested a catch basin, something just to catch the water and move it a, just a little ways out so it's not there. When that parking lot was paved, it made matters worse because yep. all that water runs down and it hits the side of the building. Yeah, and it's a little low spot there. There's a low spot and that side door that's over there, all the trim was taken off on the inside because the water got up in there and it just got into the trim and rotted it. So um, I think we need a little water control there, but starting with the front door with that. Another issue that we have is the famous pole barn. <laughs> And we need to decide what we're going to do with that, you know, and what we actually need storage for. I know that people need storage. I know the cemetery department needs storage. But I went in there today and I looked at their little section. I didn't measure it, but it's not very big. They just need a spot to store their lawn mowing equipment and whatever hand tools they have. You know, maybe ten by ten. Maybe we put a a, a building up for the cemetery department or a building up for some. You know, this is going to be a big project because my, my idea of the pole barn is, is to not see it there anymore. I don't know how other people feel about that. I know that some people wanted to make it into an uh, expanded museum or an ice skating rink in there. I mean, we've heard everything in, about that pole barn. Well, it really needs but, upgrading. I mean, you can't... It does. There's holes in the roof, and if you look at it, it's... It's tipped. It doesn't look like it's square. So... You know? And really, you probably should tear it down. And we can't touch it. I know. Why can't we touch it? We can't destroy buildings. We might have that article passed. Well, if the article passes, maybe we should bring that up, and people will understand it. You know, there are legitimate buildings that need to be removed. You know, it might not be the parsonage, but it certainly would be the pole barn, and that's a good point you bring up. That could be a sticky issue, but. It's something well, we need to address. Unless they want to uh, use the uh, capital reserve for the buildings to upgrade it. Well, that's now, that would be a waste of money. I, I agree it would be a waste of money. It would, be, it would just give us another building. We right. shouldn't be in the building business. But yeah. I mean, the town office is really not very big. And the selectman's office is pretty crowded. And when I go visit the town clerk, um, she's got a lot of stuff in that space. And there's just a path around yeah. all of it. Yeah, it's really crowded. And, and it's really cramped. So, you know. And it always has been in that office. It used to be our meeting office, as you know, and it got converted because of the. Mm -hmm. Department of Labor was knocking on our door. Right. So it happened to be a good solution at the time. Uh, long range. I mean. So, but the townspeople, I realize they don't want to pay taxes. I don't want to pay taxes either. But the thing is, you've got to do something about that. That building it is inadequate. There are a couple of offices that don't have any place. Right, like the, like the welfare office, that's always yep, been a problem. Okay. There's no place planning, for privacy. Planning board, actually. Um, the supervisors of the checklist. Yeah, we, yeah, you get down to it. There's um, no, you know, the selectmen don't have a, a workstation. We just have to go and sit. At the table or somebody else's uh, desk. 
Now, if the select comes office had basement underneath it, um, the file cabinets would already be down in the basement. So thankfully, it doesn't have a basement. But underneath Bonnie's, I believe, there's a basement. There is. There's a crawl space. Just a crawl space? Yeah. Well, still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But underneath Mitchell, there's a basement, but we can't use it. Yeah, I went and I took some pictures over at the uh, pole barn. So, you know, I took a lot of pictures. Anyway. Yeah, there, you know, there's two refrigerators sitting in there. Two refrigerators that don't look like they're functional. So what are they, you know, Where what are they doing? From? No, whoever, hey, I don't know. Oh, they're uh, the rec, the rec departments. The rec department. Yeah, they're functional. They, they are. Did they ask permission to put it there? Huh? Did they ask permission to put it there? There are times they... I, I mean, this, this, this yeah. was up to the board. They, they still need to ask. Is the, ink, is the ice skating rink still in there? No. no. Got rid of a long time ago. Long ago. And we got rid of all the antifreeze and went with that too, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> I didn't even know what this thing was. And you know, if you take a look at this side photo of, a, of our building. Well, those refrigerators, it's, there's our yeah. two refrigerators. That's something that maybe we ought to consider doing something about it sometime. Well, this here. It's already been taken care of. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Kaiser. Kaiser. Yeah. Don't be worried. Good. It's about time. Mm -hmm. I was pointing out this side. Give me like a refrigerator and a, a stove in the whole barn. There was a stove there too. Yeah, that's from Hypertherm. Hypertherm donated two refrigerators, a freezer, a stove, a flat top, everything to the rep committee when they redid their kitchen. Okay. Do they have a place to put it or is it they're just going to stay in there, I wonder? Well, they rearrange their shack. They okay. Well, they. Okay. And there's also the thresher. And the what? The thresher. What's the thresher? The historical society's oh, yeah. uh, thresher from Williams right. family. You got the. That's pretty big, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got the pole barn. The, oh, the thresher. Yeah, it's. Yeah, that big thing on your guitar. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's historical society's. Yeah. Well, you know. That needs a home. Say, so, you know, Mom wanted to put it out underneath the lean to underneath. I the stroke side, but we got to get her to uh, this, to it, do it. It would be, yeah, it would be nice to have a place to put that. That's not the pole barn because it's not going to do anybody any good in the pole barn. The pole barn is pretty as a pit. I don't, I wouldn't want to store my stuff in there. And I know that people who want to donate to the historical society, you tell them, we don't know what we're going to do with this. With this. We're going to put it in the pole barn. They'll say, never mind, because it just turns into a mucky mess out there. So we have that, um, I, and I know we have that article on the uh, warrant with the parsonage. So it, you know, it'd probably be best to wait till after the election, and then we could decide what course of action to take with the parsonage. But I'd like to have a building inspector, and or some sort of inspector that give us an overview of what we can do with that property or what the potential of that property is, and then we can make a, a more informed decision. We all, uh, we also need a handyman. That is true. And we don't have one right now, so I don't know how we'll go about getting one. But that's something that, especially coming into the season, yeah, I said that too. Do you mean a handy person? A handy person, yes. It could be a handy woman too. <laughs> that's right. So we need that, and this is something that's going to be coming up. I don't think it's coming up this year. might be coming up next year. But... We have a, a statistical update coming up, which is another term for uh, a rebound. So that is going to be in 25. Mm -hmm. And what else happens in 25? The contract with Avatar expires. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that when it expired five years ago, we put out, you know, I don't know what the criteria was for the new company, but I think one of the criteria was that they use Avatar software. Because <laughs> Avatar, they have to corner on the software market. A lot of people use that software if they don't use Avatar. So we said we want somebody who uses the Avatar software to come in. And um, as a result, who, how many people bid on that? Avatar. One. Yeah. Is it proprietary Avatar software? Because that seems... 
I don't know what you mean by proprietary. You mean that they're the only ones that can use it? Or, yeah, I mean, or, no, 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 no. They're, they're, fi they're fine having another company use it. Okay. When we had, we used to have Patriot software in there, and we used to use Patriot, but we left Patriot, and we continued using that for, a while. for quite a while until we got Avatar, and then, so, um, you know, I, I, I just envisioned the next statistical update based on well, the prices of real estate. You can feel is that now. See what other towns do. Yeah. See if we can have something a, li a little bit different or something, or, or at least that we know that we explored everything before we settled on the old yeah. same company again. So those are some of the things I like to put on the action list so that we can keep, keep them moving okay. and, and hopefully get you know some things done. So for the present, that's all I have. Oh, what comment? Yeah, uh, Sorry. Every time the contract for the software is totally different from the contract for the services, you actually get a, a separate bill. Ours is around two thousand dollars of yours is. But no, just about every company that I know of uses Avatar now, and it is a whole separate entity. It belongs to them, but it's a separate entity that other companies use regularly. Um, uh, you know, I know you can't keep everyone happy at the same time, but I've got to say, I am incredibly pleased with the highway department and their maintenance this winter, the, the plowing and the sanding, and I just really appreciate that. Um, and if you go to the State Forest by way of Gifford Hill, the minute you get to Orange, you're going to be turning around and getting back to Grafton. So I just really appreciate um, Grafton's roads in the highway department. I'll make sure that gets passed along to the highway department. Words of encouragement. Um, if the board is um, already putting the one article for the third time after it failed in the last two years, um, instead of just the overall buying, demolishing, and so on. If the board has a specific building in mind and you'd like to do something with it, why not just put a warrant article specifying what, what the, the intent of it is, instead of leaving uh, people to wonder what's going on with, with that idea. There's multiple things that could be done in this town. The pole barn is one. Um, there's two acres of land next to Breckfield that is overgrown and just sitting there. So if the one article we could specify that specifically, then I yeah. think people would be more on board on doing it. Next. Right. Um, what, why can't the town hall be used for um, appointments and stuff like that if we are running out of space or it's not convenient? <laughs> you know, it used to be the town office near that. Have you ever been behind that door back there? That's the selectman's office. So, if we wanted to, we could probably do something, yeah. Uh, it just seems like it's very underutilized here. When I first came on as selectman, that's where it was. I remember moving, In there. I remember moving Betty out of there. Yep. From a fine cabinet, from the fuck with a loader, and yep. hauling him down. Don't open the door now, the thing's going to fall out. Uh, <laughs> including Betty? No, I hope not. Oh. Well, I made all the comments I wanted to. I thought I'd look them a little earlier in the meeting. Save us some time right now. Oh, fine. I don't have anything to say. Not really. Oh, I don't either. Oh, wait a minute. One, 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 one other thing. Deliberative sessions on Saturday. So are we all ready for that? I guess it's already as we're going to be. Our department's all going to be all set. Should be. Should be. Okay. Okay. Go back to the motion. I, I second to adjourn. Yeah. Is that a record? Nope. Yeah.